growing up then, you grow up in Oklahoma family? Yeah, yeah. Um, family's been here for a hundred, gosh, technically homesteaded at the farm that we film at, 120 yeah. years, farm, farming, ranching. Um, but they've been throughout the Oklahoma area since the late 1800s. And then, uh, then officially at the, the homestead in Fay, Oklahoma, which is right near a town called Thomas, which for a lot of people don't know, that's near Weatherford, Oklahoma. And I just tell people who are from Oklahoma, it's basically in between Amarillo and Oklahoma City. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so true. So growing up then, farming around you obviously clearly, you know, generational through the family. Uh, did you grow up out there or did you grow up in the city? Yeah, I grew up I grew up in Thomas, okay. a town of 1,200 people. Went to graduate with 35 in my high school class. I tell people all the time, you know, I was valedictorian in high school. They're like, wow, and I don't tell them how many people <laughs> in my class. Uh, but I grew up a small town kid, uh, f- was on working on the family farm ranch. It had converted to a ranch full time in like 2008. I've mm-hmm. uh, been doing that my whole life. So that's like all, that's all I really knew growing up was that way of life and playing sports yeah. um, and being a small town kid, you know, just being in everything and Involved, whether it's FFA to show choir to to student council, you know, I was just, you're just involved. You do everything, so I, I feel very fortunate that I got brought up that way. And now it's like full circle now in my life that coming back, we're kind of highlighting that all too now. So, so growing up that way, then small time life, being on the farm, you know, playing sports, running around. Were you thinking, you know, like, yes, I'm going to take over. I'm going to drive a tractor the rest of my life. Were you thinking, you know, what, I want to go do something. I kind of have other passions and, and I want to go to the big city or university. Yeah, it's so f- it's so funny you ask that. Ever since I was a kid, I've always dreamed really big. It's so funny. And like you think being from a small town, mm-hmm. being out there in the middle of nowhere that you like dream. Dreaming big is a foregone conclusion. But I, th- I tell people all the time, I think because you are in the middle of nowhere, you have to be creative. You have to dream big. You have to do things to get yourself outside of the monotonous day to day of building fans, checking cows, just not being bored a lot. Um, I feel like growing up the way I did, uh, it really helped me to, to, not, not give up and then also allow me to go chase my dreams. I came from a family of, like you said, generational farming and ranchers and my dad from day one was always like, what do you want to do? And for the longest time, I want to play professional baseball. The ones that I figured out, you know, injuries and definitely not good enough to probably play professionally. Um, once I figured that out, the next passion I always had was movies. And he has a lot to do with that. And uh, my grandpa, a lot of them, they have, you know, we were watching the Westerns of John Wayne growing up, watching Hee Haw on TV, which is like the SNL version for country people back in the 1970s. Uh, just just all that. Now that you, I kind of stepped back, I've left the state before and mm-hmm. got to, you know, look outside the box. My perspective is like, man, I was either going to be playing baseball or going to be doing entertainment somehow. Yeah. Uh, and then now getting to do it with highlighting how my family's always operated and working is probably one of the coolest things I never saw coming. So I don't know. That's the, that, that's, I guess to answer your question. Yeah. They, I've always had support that always yeah. pushed me to go towards my dreams and not say like, no, you can't do that. You're from here. We, we do this. Um, I was just very lucky to be blessed with a lot of support. Yeah. That's really special to have that family backing and, and just like, you know, fully like, what do you want? Like having that, having your dad ask you that question, what do you want to do when you grow up? Yeah. Right. And most <laughs> people are like, I want to go to, you know, I want to go to space. Right. Yeah. I want to be a fireman or <laughs> whatever it is. But, like but you know, but like just going further than that and say, no, 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 like let's, let's have this conversation, you know, when you're old enough and let's plan and see how we can get you, you know, at least an opportunity to do that. So that's kind of special. Yeah. Very special. I, again, feel very blessed that that's a lot of people don't get that, especially in our, yeah. in our way of life, but I got that. So, 